And hey everybody, Mark Schulte here with TKM Studios, and we got a video here for you today. As promised, I was going to start doing videos here in Season 4. Thank you for your patience for me getting this videos up. I know it's been a long, long wait, and I'm finally going to get one up. And we're going to start with American Truck Simulator. That's what we're going to get into today. Um, American Truck Simulator just recently released their uh, most recent DLC, which is the state of Idaho, which we're going to be exploring here today. So grab yourself something to drink real quick. Get yourself some a snack. We're going to enjoy it here for the next 30, 40 minutes, hopefully 40 minutes or so, something around that. And we're going to drive a truck, uh, as you can see. Well, I, well, you can't see yet. Well, now you can see. We are going to be driving a FedEx ground truck because I just love FedEx ground because, hey, I work there, so why not? You're probably wondering what this other screen is here with this dashboard on the bottom left. Okay, this is a program called um, ETS2 um, Telemetry. It's a program that a friend of mine named Matt, he told me about. I saw it one day posted on his Facebook page, and apparently it basically is an external device, uh, external thing where you can monitor your dash via through your tablet, your phone, or a web browser. Um, I currently have it running on another screen on the browser on the side, and I've got it basically just posted it or kind of just sh cut into the screen here so you can see it. Now, I'm going to try to basically stay in the outside view of the de uh, of the truck. I know a lot of my old videos were like, you know, just in the cab, and people are like, you know, hey, you know, you know, not much you can, you know, it's not like seen really much when you're in the cab. You're just seeing the drive point of view. So I was playing around with it last night, getting a little practice with it, and uh, I got some pretty cool POV shots, point of view shots, just basically kind of panning, almost like if there was a drone following the truck last night because I had to drive the truck from Salem, Oregon, to the border over at Idaho, which is where we're going to start when we get loaded in here. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the FedEx truck now. Um, like I said, well, the map pulls up here. We are right here at Ontario, and we're going to probably see if we can find a job here to take us into either Nampa or Boise, which is going to be a real short trip, so this might just only end up being a 30-minute video. Hey, no big deal. It's all good. Appreciate y'all coming and checking it out. All right, well, let's get started here. So I got the truck. We're going to go with the external market because right now, there is, if you didn't see it here, um, yeah, there is an event going on called Cruising Idaho. Basically, the thing is in the way. Basically, using external contracts or, or inter external market with World of Trucks Connected Profile Simulator, the goal, there is a, it's a community goal. Basically, people are all around here trying to achieve this goal to get 30 million miles delivering cargos for the city in Idaho. Basically, here's all the city names that are in here. I'm sorry if the screen right there on the left, I'm sorry that this is cutting you off right here and you can't see. Uh, when a player completes a delivery from to Idaho cities, he will complete a personal goal. All jobs in the event need to be 100 miles each or more. So, we're trying to find one that's at least 100. Um, we can browse contracts or open event page. Uh, so yeah, basically that's what's going on here. So I was going to do, uh, the Washington, uh, exploration, but with this Idaho event going on here, I wanted to go ahead and just get in here and get this done and yeah, so get that truck all fired up. Hopefully y'all can hear the game sounds all right. <clears throat> Should have everything turned up a hundred percent. Yep. So if the if yeah, give me two seconds. I gotta flash out for a second. Check my game sound. Make sure it is. Yeah, it's turned all the way up. I guess from my point of view, it sounds kind of low. Hopefully, it won't be too loud for y'all. All right, let's pop back in here. Oh, it's loud. I cause I'm wearing headphones, so it's a different sound. Okay, there it goes. It's a little, it's getting there. All right, so we are going to go back into the external market, and we're going to see if we can find a job right here in Ontario that's going into Idaho. Um, more like it's going to be a short one. There we go. Boise, Idaho. It's 43 miles. Use packaging or use packaging. Hmm. 
tough decisions here. We got 43, 44 miles. Let's see. <coughs> There's an Napa, in Nampa, Idaho to Ontario. We can go pick up and then come back. Hmm, could be exciting. But I kind of want to go, so we're going to do the home store use packaging. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to get that synced up, and we're going to get rocking and rolling here. So, like I said, we will get to the Washington um, journey or adventure. I'm trying to figure out what catchy name to call it. I think I already came up with a name. I just can't figure out what it was. can't remember what it was. Uh, I was going to start that whenever we moved into our new apartment when I got my own studio room so I could do this here. But I got the privilege of being able to do it today. My, uh, my wife and son are off going to a splash pad thing for a little while. Uh, so this gives me a chance to get this done while I can. So, all right, let's get her started. Oh, yeah, hey. I'm using my Xbox 360 controller to do this. I was going to pull out my steering wheel and be all fancy with it, but I decided to just keep it simple today. Alright. Like I said, I'm going to do my best to keep the external look going here so everybody can enjoy it. Uh, basically, the dash is real-time connected to the game. Uh, this gives me the ability to be able to see the gauges a little bit better. I'm not sure how well it's going to come out for y'all on the screen, but hopefully it'll look good. Um, okay, let's see here. Gotta go figure out where this job pickup is. is. Yeah, okay, here we go. Like, where are we going here? The, the GPS looks all crazy down there. Alright. Oh, it thought I was coming off the highway and it wanted me to do a U turn here. And I didn't even stop for traffic. What do you know? Um, this is the game, uh, real game, it's not multiplayer. There are some mods installed. I do have mods installed. I did turn off the police ticketing. Longer, I do have longer yellow lights. Stuff like that. Um, so yeah, well. But you can see, if I'm in the cab right here, it kind of looks weird having two dashes here. It's basically the same dash um, that's in the truck now on this Peterbilt. Now, they do have different types. Um, when you connect the uh, telemetry device um, to your game and all that, it basically gives you a choice. And you have different windows. You can use different designs that they have laid out there. You click on it, and it loads it. You can do it by MPH or, KP or K K KMH. Yeah, I can't talk. Uh this is only about the sixth take I've done this morning. I'm trying to get back into the use of how to do these videos because I'm so used to clicking on live stream and just going with the flow. So I've stopped and started this recording at least five times before I started this one. So, yeah, I'm trying to get used back into doing this. So but I appreciate y'all coming along with the journey here. And, yes, I'm driving a FedEx truck because I'm that guy. <laughs> I do have other trucks and other uh, employees that are doing this, so oh, here we go. Like I said, I'll try to get y'all some good views on here. Um, I also noticed in the game they recently did some texture updates. Things are looking a little sharper and better, so that is definitely a plus. All right, and I love these gates where they open up for you like that. That is just so cool. All right, this is going to be an interesting one to approach. My memory serves me well. It's going to be I have to back into it. Mm -hmm. I can kick on my flashers here. Take a look at this approach here and see how bad I can botch this up. Yep, I figured it was going to be one of those. Let's pull it in crazy. All right. Cut it back this way. Let's not hit the thing. Gotta cut it hard here. And there's my game saving. 
I love that this game has the uh, iCloud ability or the cloud saves now because a long time ago when this game wasn't as big and popular when it was just coming out um, whenever you save it it save it local to your game files and this game kind of got corrupt on me a couple times or from the mods or whatever or my computer was doing something stupid excuse me I'm just going to be Austin Powers here for a minute Oh man. And uh, when I'd have to reinstall my computer or the game or something like that, I'd end up uh, losing my data. And I, this is like the third time I've had to restart my game with the level one again. Like, oh, you know, let's just not hit crap. I'll just pretend like that didn't happen. Um. I should be like a little level 50 by now. Oh. And yeah, let's just not hit the building, you know. Because why not? Oh, I'm trying to get this straightened out. Nope, other way, other way, other way. Had to relearn. No. Backwards. Backwards, dang it. <laughs> then I'm going to swing this around. Probably going to be 10 minutes of me just y'all watching me learn how to park. <laughs> All right. You know, you think I'd master this by now. Oh my god. Mark, you're killing me here. Okay. Cut the wheel. Slowly. There we go. There we go. Now you're doing it. Ugh. I have to back up and then pull it forward. I don't want to skip the loading. I'm a professional. Can't you tell? Good professional, I'm running into crap. There we go. <laughs> Look at my crooked ass parking. Alright, apply the handbrake. Let's kill the engine. And we're gonna load up the trailer. Takes like an hour to load the trailer or something like that. Disengage park and brake. Let's get out of here now. Get on the road. We got 43 miles to make, you know. Long way to go. Not to get y'all dizzy here from swaying back and forth too hard, but um, on my little joystick pad on my Xbox controller that does the back and forth up and down view, if I tap it just a certain amount, it actually pans with the truck like a smoothness. So y'all be able to see that here hopefully in just a minute when I get this thing going. All right, um, let's go ahead and turn off our hazards and start the flash. And everything is coordinated and working in the dashboard, as you can see. Um, all the gauges are working 
with the game, which is pretty cool. See right there, see how see how the camera's panning and with me? I'm not touching it. I literally just tapped it a little bit. And I was able to get it to kind of pan with me and make it look kind of like it like if there's a, a quad like one of those little quadcopters following me or whatever they call them. You know, the little camera webcam cameras. What they what they call them, yeah. Alright. All right, next stop. Uh, okay, on certain dashes, it gives you the information. Um, I was using the other, the other one, but we are going to Boise, to Walbert, or as known as Walmart, but they generically call it Walbert. I used to have a mod here that gave me real names, real names for the real like companies and stuff like that. But I guess they hadn't updated that mod, or I haven't updated it, so I'm gonna have to check and to see if I can get that back on here, because those were kind of cool. Hard to see some of these stoplights up here. I know in the past I've run these lights in my videos, but I'm trying to make it more realistic. Right, we'll go ahead and turn that off. We don't need that up here. We know where we're going. Let's just scrape the wall, why don't we? Alright. Got a little cool, funky music for y'all to listen to while we go down the road here. Don't worry, it's all YouTube free music, so I don't get copyrighted. Because apparently, a couple of streams ago, I had uh, played the song Changes by Yes, but I, it was a cover track version from Richie Castellano, and for some reason it still flagged me. I was going to dispute it, but I was like, nah, I don't want to really go through the whole issue, so. Alright, let's get her fired up. Nampa has been discovered. There's number one discovery for this thing now. There are 11 cities in the game. Um, I will be doing 11 parts of this, so that way I can go with it. Even though I try to export each city each time. Um, so, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna still go through that. Hopefully, I'll be able to get at least one or two posted a week. We'll see how things going. I had this weekend off, so that's why I was able to do this. And with the wife and kid going out for some little fun. Normally I would be going out and spending some time with them today. I will. I'm going to be doing that later this afternoon. But I decided to spend about an hour making a video and getting that done. Let her run some errands and stuff like that. Okay, Boise discovered. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> Quite literally. So. Alright, well, we're almost to our destination. About three miles ago. Let's see where this takes us. 
We're going to play that music here just again real quick before we go. I like that thing. It, I found that on YouTube, and it was pretty neat. So, Oh, I hear a helicopter. Not sure where it is. <laughs> Weird. Sorry, didn't mean to make you dizzy there. All right, we are officially in Idaho. I didn't even see the Idaho state sign at all, to be honest with you. So... Anyway, there's a fancy truck stop up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go drop this load. And then we're going to go over to that truck stop. It's supposed to be... There's supposed to be an achievement for that. Uh, so we're going to try to get that achievement. Let me get over in the left lane here. So the only bad thing about using this view is I can't see my rear mirrors. Um, I can turn them on and toggle them. But, yeah. That would make it not as cool looking. All right, turn that blinker off. Looks like we're going over there, so. All right, well. Oh, forgot to merge over. Sorry, officer. All right, well, this is our exit here, so we're going to work our way to this. Uh, so just hang out for a little bit. Robert, here we are. Where do we need it? Hmm. We can play it safe and pull ahead, let them unload, or we can, yeah. L l let's let's be professional here. Come on now. Let's see how fast I can screw this up. I mean, this video so far is only about 25 minutes, so let's see if I can add an extra 10 minutes here trying to park. Because <laughs> you, know, you know, I can't park, so <laughs> yeah. My parking is basically me going. Oh, say it! Yeah. But yeah, I can do it professionally all the time. It worked. Yeah, but this is a video game, Mark. That's There's a big difference. That's what y'all probably end up saying to me. Uh, feel free to leave any kind of comments you want in the comments, by the way. Uh, just Let's try to be nice, though. But, you know, if you want to be sarcastic or a little bit of criticism, I can handle it. I'm a big boy. I promise you I won't cry too much. <laughs> anyway, all right. Cut it back, cut it back, way back. <laughs> oh, my. I'm going to hit those containers, aren't I? Oh, yeah. Swing it, baby. Whoa, not too much. Now I got to turn around. Probably guys standing around going, Yeah, look at this crazy driver. He can't park with the crap. Yeah, you're right. I can't. I've tried doing this by Caview because uh, there's this other YouTuber named uh, 
Jeff Fabiano. Boy, he's a pro at this. I've so I've watched him back a trailer in using only the mirrors in cam in cab view only and not using cheats or nothing. I'm like, dude, that takes some skill. Now I mean, he has the shifter and the and the steering wheel, and, and the plane just flew over. I saw the shadow. I don't know if y'all saw that up in the corner. Okay, so I didn't do half as bad as I did last time. <laughs> I hit the bumper thing. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good one there. Yeah. Aren't you proud of yourself? Let's try that again without the bumper. Alright, apply the parking brake, turn that off. Kill the engine. Let's unload that bad boy. Let's see what we got today. 2,133. Uh, we're not going to do current job offers. We're gonna just going to drive us out of here and... We're going to head on over to that truck stop. Nah. All right, question is, how do I get to that truck stop from here? back over to that way. Okay, it's going to be to the left. Alright, so we're going to go click on this add to our GPS. Alright. Alright, see you in a few minutes. Crazy Idaho drivers. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was trying to cut it, and I was like, oh, I didn't cut it too hard. Oh my god, a FedEx truck. You see, even on my day off, I can't get away with not seeing one, whether it's a real game in the real game or a real world or what. There's some tracks here. I'm gonna take a left turn. Apparently, that way is the international. Yeah, I need to work on my turns with trailers. I haven't had much practice with, like, the trailers. You think I would, but, you know, all the trailers, I mean, I'm hauling stuff, so. 
Um, speaking of the FedEx trucks, though, but I heard there's a mod in this game somewhere that you can drive a delivery truck I don't like that in here. You just got to get it. I'm thinking about seeing if I can find it and downloading it. Oh, wow. Look at all these uh, industrial tracks right here. I'm sorry. I'm a train fanatic, so I'm just I'm loving these things. So, hey, look! I discovered a recruiting agency to fire hire more drivers. Hire, fire, fire. <laughs> I haven't fired a driver yet. I keep stealing trucks and stealing trucks because I, you know, if you followed me all this time and you know a backstory of my videos, um, I had a different truck that Peter built, 389 or 379 or whatever it is. It was a black and gold one I had. I still have it, but I was driving it up until recently, and then I transferred it to um, to another driver. And then I was driving it, and then I got this one back because I said, you know what, for the Washington videos, I wanted to have the FedEx truck. Oh, listen, look, what, my, my guy's tired. All right. Um, I didn't see anything pop up, but I thought this is one of those famous truck stops because in the game they have these achievements that you have and one of the achievements is to you know go to certain truck stops I mean this is a truck stop because there's a scale and the fuel All right. Let's see if we can keep it between the lines here eh, if not we'll back up and you know what, I'm probably just going to back up to the very back. Whoa, too hard. Yeah, I can see the comments now. Man, your backing and parking skills suck, man. <laughs> Bring it. Bring those comments. I dare you. Okay, okay. My guy's tired. I get it. You think driving a P1000 all day, you think I'd have this. But, you know, that's a single axle, not a, you know. You know not with a trailer. I think that's far enough. Gauge park and brake. Gonna turn off the lights. Cut off the engine there, so. Alrighty, like I said, we just, that was a good little drive there. Like I said, we just basically took a little trip from Ontario. Didn't really go into Nampa, Nampa, or, yeah. What we'll do is, what I'm going to probably do on the next video, if not soon, I'll probably do a short one from Boys in Nampa, or I might just do a, a, a double back. You know, maybe I'll do one of these other ones and then work my way back so here's all the here's the idaho map so we got sandpoint Sior de Alain, how do you say it lewiston green grangeville nampa boise which is where we're now twin falls ketchum salmon idaho falls pocato i guess but anyway those are the 11 towns one two three four five six seven eight Nine, ten, eleven, well, wait, there's twelve. Well, Ontario is not in Idaho. It's well, it's on the border, so I guess that's where we saw that. So, who knows? All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and get this video uploaded so y'all can come check it out. But thank y'all for hanging out and checking out the Idaho thing, because like I said, that's oh, excuse me, wrong button. That's what we're gonna be doing here. Um, and throughout August, I'm going to try to get it done by end of August. I'm going to try to at least get a video or two up a week. Uh, that's the goal. But let's see how that works out because sometimes it doesn't always go to plan. But I'm going to try to get that done because I know in the past I didn't finish all the other ones. Now, the Oregon journey I did finish. And then, like I said, I'm going to do the Washington one eventually. I want to get back to it. Um, the next state to be released on this game, I believe, is Colorado. But that's going to be some time before that happens. So... Yeah, if you want to go check out this game, it's called American Truck Simulator. It's on Steam. Go download the Steam app. I believe it's... Oh, my God. My guy is yawning. It is on... Uh, it's like nineteen ninety nine, I think, right now, unless it's on sale. And then the downloads for each state is like 12 bucks for depending on what state. I know Arizona is free and California is free. And you can, if you get the basic game, you start out with California and Nevada. So... 
and then you can download Arizona for free. And then I think New Mexico, Oregon, Washington, Idaho are all DLC pays, and they're like 12 bucks. So you can't go wrong. So go check it out. So All right, folks, well, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you all again for coming and watching it. Uh, we'll see you soon, and don't forget to check out my live streams on Saturday. Uh, I usually start about 8.30, 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. Come check out that. We usually play Fortnite. We call it our Saturday shenanigans. But, hey, we'll never know what we can get up, what kind of shenanigans we get ourselves into. Y'all have a good one, and we'll see you next time. See you later.